In the aftermath of the bloodletting called the Civil War, thousands of ruthless, restless, searching men traveled west. Such a man is William Colton. Like the others, he carried a blanket roll, a proficient gun, and a dedication to a new chapter in American history, the opening of the West. Storm. You know the bridge is out up ahead? You open for business? You take it over that guest here, don't you? You're not filled up, are you? You will forgive me, senor, but we are no longer in charge here. If you will look behind you, senor. There is a gentleman who can answer any of your questions. I don't need to look behind me. I just heard the gentleman. Will the gentleman give me permission to turn around? Keep your hands away from your sides. Higher. Turn around. You're here to call me, ain't you, mister? Why should I do that? I don't even know who you are. I'm Billy Ford. That don't mean anything to you. Is it supposed to? I've got an instinct for callers, mister. Especially when they figure I'm off my feet and slowed down. Okay. Call me. I'll tell you what. I'll risk a bullet for a hot cup of coffee. Let's see if Mr. Ford will uh, let me die with some degree of comfort, huh? Some coffee, please. Senor, the gentleman will not permit us to leave the room. We have been here for some time now. Well, let's make it easy for him then, huh? Take my gun belt off and put it on the table there. Over here. Senor, you are very ill. Uh -huh. You got a bullet inside you? Is that what's turning your face gray? I've got something inside me, but it's not a bullet. When he first rode in here, he could barely get off his horse. But now he eats nothing, he drinks nothing, just sits there holding his gun. Uh, uh, huh? Hey, give me back the gun. Please. Who's after you, Ford? Who ain't? I've notched 22 times. That means there's 122 that are gunning for me. Let's see who's best. Now, my guess is the next fight you're involved in had nothing to do with guns. Huh? Where is the pain? Huh? Here. What do you think? I'm not a doctor. But I think you sure need one. Creo que debemos decirle. 
I understand Spanish. Now, what is it you must tell me? There is a doctor upstairs. Oh. Why do you suppose God is so friendly? That's a good question. Can you call him down here? He has been here three days now. We sent him meals up for the leads. Mostly he drinks. I'll get him. What about my gun? That's all I've got! Well, if it's all you've got, you're a poor man. What's stalking you now can't be turned aside with a bullet. What's stalking me now? A rider on a pale horse that has many more than 22 notches. Some coffee, please, senorita. For me and my uh, fast gun. Si, senor. <laughs> Doctor? Doctor? Of course I'm a doctor. I'm more than a doctor. I'm a surgeon. I'm the best surgeon on earth. Come on in, cowboy. You and I will have a drink. We'll drink to the profession of medicine. Well, let's work at it first and then drink to it, huh? Tools of my trade. They're the last things to be hocked, also the next things to be hocked. If there's a call for their services, I'll sell the bag for a bottle. How long will it take you to bring one up here? How long will it take you to sober up enough to walk downstairs and tend to a sick man? A sick man is there. You just give him a pill and keep him out of a draft. If he lives, have a party. If he dies, you can just dwell on the frailty of human beings. But in the meantime, bring me a bottle or leave me alone. He's as gray as a timber wolf. Sweating, full of fever. Pains in his right side. And my guess is that it's some kind of infection. So that's what you've diagnosed, huh? And who are you, laddie, the Surgeon General? It's on his right side is probably his appendix. If his face is gray and he's in pain, he's probably got peritonitis. Which is a fancy name for poison. And if it is his appendix, cowboy, you'd better get yourself a doctor and get him pronto before it bursts. And if it bursts, laddie, get yourself a shovel and a nice plot of earth. You've got instruments in here, haven't you? And you know how to use them, don't you? Yeah, yeah sure, I've got instruments. I've got four different scalpels. I've got forceps. I've got beautiful steel needles. I've got everything a surgeon needs except one thing. Everything a surgeon needs, save one thing. This. I was celebrating an anniversary up here. One year ago today, my right hand departed the premises. A spooky horse, an overturned wagon, railroad track and the very foreseeable result of a locomotive wheel pitted against flesh and bone. What is it you want from me, cowboy? To cut into a man's stomach? Using this? An element of humor has just ended my humble accommodations. Laddie, you go downstairs and tell your sick friend to make his peace. Depending on how long it's been, the next step is rupture, and then, as it must to all men. Will you look at him? Will you come downstairs and just, just take a look at him? Yeah. Sure. I'll take a look at him for old time's sake. I might even tell him how lucky he is. When the appendix ruptures, the pain goes away, and the dying is quite quick and relatively painless as opposed to my own, which is tedious, extended, and full of agony. <laughs> Dave.
Stay tuned. TV Land Goes West continues right after this. All month long, TV Land celebrates Black History Month with landmark sitcoms, dramas, variety shows, and specials. Now what could be sweeter? Tune in every weekend in February for performers who broke the barriers and shows that broke the mold. She's prejudiced. What's prejudiced? That's what she is, and I can play with her. TV Land celebrates Black History Month, Saturday and Sunday at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Eastern, 7 and 3 Pacific, all month long. My kids love chocolate milk. This isn't just ordinary chocolate milk. It's rich chocolate Ovaltine. It's got vitamins. Nestle Quick and Hershey syrup don't. For my kids, it's not ordinary chocolate milk. It's rich chocolate Ovaltine. More Ovaltine, please! He has not had diaper ash since I've switched to the Gold Bond Cornstarch Plus. Medicated Gold Bond Cornstarch Plus baby powder has triple action to absorb, soothe, and protect against wetness. He loves it. It makes mom happy. Gold Bond Cornstarch Plus. More than a baby powder, it's medication. Uh, my hat. Ooh, my coat. My books. Some days you just don't have time for breakfast. But you need a healthy start. That's why Carnation Instant Breakfast is packed to go. It's full of vitamins and minerals and 99% fat free. Bye, Mom! Got your breakfast? <sighs> breakfast. <laughs> Carnation Instant Breakfast from Nestle. It's a healthy start. How did we make TV Land 34% better than real life? With our foolproof system for total TV relaxation, TV Land's TTV RS. Until I went over every system, pro and con, I looked and I added, I subtracted. This is it. I refigured it, checked it, rechecked it, tested it. It never failed. Listen, as our highly trained staff explains the essential nature of this technically complex system. The whole thing is based on the principle of seven. Very simple. Nothing to it. Elementary. Pure mathematical genius. But TV Land's total TV relaxation does not begin to take effect on you until our technicians set the system in motion. They do it scientifically. Oh? They put a goldfish in a shoe, and then they throw the shoe out the window. The marvels of science. TV Land's TTV RS. And Kate Kennedy thinks they have complicated equipment. Technologically designed to make TV Land 34% better than real life. And now, back to TV Land Goes West. It's that useless piece of flesh called the appendix. It's hopeless. There's not one single thing I can do. And with that diagnosis, my fee is one long drink. Senor. You tell your father I've got four gold pieces that he could use for. My shroud in the box. Whatever is left over, he can keep for himself. You must never tempt death, Senor Ford. Never beckon to it. Death comes at its own good time. Tu eres muy bonita, niña. No, Senor. I'm not beautiful. I'm very plain. You're beautiful. You're very beautiful. <laughs> Why do you cry? What is he to you? Stranger. My name is Stranger, but by occupation, he's one of a long breed. The death makers. Uh, 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 oh, doctor, please help him. Por favor, help him. I beg of you. Help him, huh? If there's to be any weeping, keep it low. I may get some sleep tonight. I'm in desperate need of it. Doctor, it's a long trip you're about to take. On that kid's bed to your room, longest trip on earth, because you'll never be able to come back. Where else shall I walk, Mr. Colton? To that boy's room, with me. You tell me what to do, and I'll do it. 
Your brain, my two hands. You must be out of your mind, Mr. Colton. Have you ever performed surgery? I took out a couple of bullets. A couple of bullets? Compared to what must be done to that boy in there, that's child's play. Doctor, you took an oath, didn't you? Oh, I did, indeed. Holding up the right hand that used to be there. But nothing in that oath requires that I partake of some well-meaning butchery guided by a whiskey-soaked brain of a half-man. What children we all are. What game players. Let's indulge ourselves. You'll need a bucket of hot water, some clean cloths, lots of them. Lay all the instruments out in the line. As you proceed, I'll tell you which ones to use. Mr. Robles, you'll have to hold them down, you and your daughter. We'll give them ether, but I don't have too much of it. Mr. Colton, you'll have to do your job quickly. If you don't, you'll have a screaming madman on your hands. Shall we retire to the patient's room to indulge in a little compassionate murder? We'll be putting something over your face for just a moment. Just breathe deeply. It'll be ether. If you want to fall asleep, don't fight it, understand? Uh, Hold them down. seems to be ready. Take the scalpel. Now we find a spot on the abdomen about two-thirds of the way in from the right hip bone, running down obliquely toward the abdomen. <coughs> right here. there, that's exactly it. Now, Mr. Colton, you'll be making an incision down obliquely toward the abdomen for four inches. Now, make that five. Give yourself more space to work in. All right, now that's from here to here, huh? That's right, exactly, right there. Uh -huh. Oh, press hard. Quick. Down hard! Get on with it, man. He can't feel a thing. Now, you see those muscles? That's the abdominal muscle with the lines running down and across meshed. I want you to cut between them. That's it. Keep going. That's good. Now hold it. Now, that large translucent tissue with lines running down this length, you see it? Yes. Divide it. Like that. Pull it, pull it apart. Go on. Pull it apart and you'll see the intestines. They'll bulge right through. Now, look down and you'll see the large intestine. You can't miss it. It's the largest one. Something... Something seems to be getting in the way. That's this, sinew. Just push it aside. <laughs> yeah, man, use this. Push it aside. Maria. I can't... Maria, right, wipe the perspiration off Mr. Colton's face. My eyes. Here we go. That's... <laughs> it's all right. You pulled the nerve. Just keep going. this time go to sleep I will watch over him there is no need for that he spoke to me he said he felt no more fear that is what he said no more fear that was the last he said see si, senor Colton he's dead Gone. 
He's gone. He's gone and I mourn a stranger. How odd. number of men, haven't you? Many? Too many. This time you try to save one. That's a legacy from young Mr. Ford. Mine, mine was the reminder of an oath. And I shall teach him this art by precept, by lecture, by every mode of teaching. Not only to my own sons, but to the sons of him who has taught me and to disciples bound by a covenant and oath according to the laws of medicine. Mr. Colton, if you ever decide to take up medicine, look me up in the East. I may be in the business of teaching it. And that decision is my gift from Mr. Ford. I'm looking for a fella named Ford, Billy Ford. Young guy, I was told he headed this way. He did. He's dead now. You kill him? Did you? You might say, in a matter of speaking, yeah, I guess I did kill him. You must be pretty fast, mister. Maybe you and me got business together now. You and I don't have any business together. You understand? No business at all. I'll ride out. A good morning to you, Mr. Colton. Good morning to you, Doctor. Don't go away. TV Land Goes West will be right back. Looking opportunity, too good to miss. But then he took off his hat and, uh oh. <laughs> Poor guy. Dry, lifeless hair can take the fun out of your life, but you can put it back with Brill Cream. With Brill Cream, a little dabble do you. Watch Brill Cream put life, life, life in dry hair and fun back into your life. Brill Cream gives your hair that look the ladies love. Excitingly clean, disturbingly healthy, so masculine. Watch. Brill Cream, a little babble do ya. Brill Cream, you look so never there. Brill Cream, the gals will all pursue ya. They'll love to get their fingers in your hair. Use Brill Cream and put life in your hair. This is TV Land. When you're a rock star, every new high brings a new low. I've od three or four times in my life. You don't know who to trust. He's come straight at me, and I roll, and he plants the butcher knife right in the middle of the bed. And just when it can't get any better, it gets much worse. I asked him either to choose me or to choose drugs. He chose drugs. VH1 Behind the Music. The real stories told by the stars who lived them. Coming. All new episodes. Rick James. Willie Nelson. Gladys Knight. Jerry Lee Lewis. Selena and more. Every Sunday night at 9, 8 central. Only on VH1. 
A proper gentleman eats one cookie at a time. But these aren't cookies. They're Newtons. Well, we can't be proper all the time, now can we? A cookie is just a cookie, but fat-free Newtons are fruit and cake. In the beginning, it's always the same little lullaby, the same special toy, maybe the same fancy diaper, even though it costs more. Uh, maybe not. Things change, <laughs> so change to Love's. They cost less. And now they've got this leak guard guarantee. See, Love's are so good on leaks, they're now guaranteed with a no-leaks phone number. Just call to find out how to get your money back. It's easy. Now, where else are you going to get a guarantee like that? I can't even guarantee I'll get a shower every day. Uh, live and learn and then get Love's. TV Land Drama, serious television, serious actors, no funny business. Go on. Groundbreaking shows about life. Hang on tight as TV Land goes west with the short-lived 1960 classic, The Westerner. Coming at you next. Today, TV Land celebrates Black History Month with performers who broke the barriers and shows that broke the mold, like The White Shadow and I'll Fly Away. Coming up today, starting at 6 o'clock Eastern, 3 Pacific, only in TV Land. Now, stay tuned for The Westerner, as TV Land Goes West continues. Keep it right here as TV Land Goes West wraps up its trip to the wild frontier with this.